Charlottesville resident Matthew Gross died from cancer alone in prison back in December. He was eight days away from being released, sent to prison on a probation violation from a nonviolent drug offense. Here's a question. Should someone like Matthew be allowed to die in dignity? Should family be allowed to say goodbye? House Bill 1648 would address that issue. Matthew's ex-wife and mother of his four children, Wendy, joins us live this morning to talk about it. And I understand, Wendy, we're having some problems with Zoom this morning, so I can't see you. But I know we can hear you. I want to ask you a little bit about um, so many supporters of House Bill 1648, but it's still waiting to get a hearing. What do you want people to know for starters? Um, just mainly that people who are in prison they're people too they do not deserve to have to die alone and i think that people should be given like if they're not in there for a violent if they're not a threat to society then there is no reason why they couldn't be released back to their family i want to ask you about the few days before matthew's life was lost. What did it look like for you all? What um, and 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 his children um, of trying to get information and trying to understand what was happening to him? Well, honestly, we didn't really know what was happening with him because, like, we had no way of communicating with him. So, like, every day was just every time the phone rang, we were just waiting for that call to say that he was gone. So House Bill 1648 offers basically four solutions right now. And we have some information. I want to put it up on the screen so people at home can see a little bit more about what it basically does and applies to different categories of people with timely notifications of terminal diagnosis, because a lot of times you all don't even know what is happening. It expands a pathway to safe, compassionate release timely decisions on the release request and informing people of these new pathways when it comes to those four parts of this bill is there one in particular that you want us to know a little bit more about or something that you feel strongly about i just think people who are in that situation should be able to be home with their families because um like myself and my kids like we don't feel any type of closure um no we know that he's gone but just that like my girls always say like they feel like their dad's still gonna come home but we know that that's not accurate and just i feel like he should have never had to die there alone uh, and I know that this is, has a lot of bipartisan support, but right now, um, nothing is moving forward on it. Why is that? Do you know? Um, I believe um, there are certain lawmakers that are kind of uh, holding that back. Um, from my understanding. Yeah, we reached out to um, a lawmaker who first um, supported this. Um, he said that he did not have time to talk with us about it today. But I do know that it, like I said, it, it, it seemed like it had great support in the beginning. Final word for you. Um, what would you like us to know? Just that even though these people are in prison, they have rights to um, the families who are um, of these prisoners we have rights to like he should have been able to be home with his family in his last days i'm sorry that you and your family has to live with that and um we'll see we'll we'll continue to follow through with this and see where the house bill if it gets a hearing anytime soon and continue to reach out to lawmakers to find out you know where they stand on the issue um, thinking of you. It is 849. If you would like to learn more about House Bill 1648, you can go to fox59.com links and read more about it there. We'll be right back.